Hi, my grade one artists. Today we are gonna do the first day of our two day project to, cre to create our shadow weaving with some stitching on the edge. So how we are gonna get started with this today is I will give each of you a piece of orange paper that has some cuts in it. On the back, you'll see your name class number, but you'll notice that there's some cuts in your name class number. So what we're gonna do is we're first going to do our first line of our weaving, and then we can write our number. So the goal for your weaving is to cover up all the X's on your paper. So I'm going to go behind my orange paper, in front of the X, behind the orange paper, cover up those X's in front of the X, behind, in front, behind. Then I can scoot, scoot, scoot my paper over to the edge and I have covered up all the X's for that column. Now that I've done that, you can see that it's kind of a little tricky to write your name. So what you're gonna do is do your best to write your name where you can see it. Maybe add a comma next to your name and your class, or you can write your class and number on the same line, okay? Just as long as I can read it down here. Now that you've done this and your name, we can begin on our second one. There's an X near your class and number that we need to cover up. So I'm gonna start there and then go up from that. Sometimes it's easiest to work out here in the middle and then figure out if I've covered up my X's by then scooting it all the way over next to its neighbor. Yeah? Okay. Now I'm ready for my next strip. Starting behind, if you have a blank space, and then scooting it over to be next to its neighbor. Now, boys and girls, once you finish all of your papers, double check with your neighbor to make sure that you have done your pattern correctly. So if you have done it correctly, you should start to see a checkerboard pattern. So it will have color, no color, color, no color, and so on all the way across the board. Definitely mind these bottom two top strips. Make sure that you have those correctly placed as well. Once you've done that, you can then take your glue and add just a dot of glue behind your strips to secure them in place, even the other side of your paper as well. Now that you have done that, we're ready to also cut our black piece of paper today. You're welcome to cut your black piece of paper in any type of shape you want. But I first recommend to make a symmetrical shape by folding your paper and drawing half of your shape. Now I will say, we want to leave a border on our black paper. I almost recommend drawing the same box that I just drew onto your black paper and then drawing the shape inside of this box. So maybe I'll do some crazy organic shape. That might be kind of interesting. Then, once you've drawn your shape, first double check that you're starting to cut on the folded edge of your black paper. Yep, that's right. And then you can go ahead and cut your shape. Okay. This, we don't need to keep, but if you want, you can keep it and take it with you. But this is the important part that we need. What you're gonna do is you will take it and just lay it on top of your art. That's it for today. You're gonna put both of these two pieces of paper onto the drying rack, and next time you come, we will do the stitching on the edge to bind them together. 
So today you need to complete your woven piece of paper and your cutout of your black paper, place them on the drying rack, and then you are welcome to do free draw in your sketchbook and um, use any type of paper from the orange basket near Mrs. Georgian's desk if you'd like. Okay, boys and girls, let's head to our desk and get started.